everyone, Steve Elliott here again. Uh, this is my first attempt at producing a watercolour in Procreate 4 and I'm using the new wet brushes. I'm absolutely loving Procreate, uh, although I think maybe the next couple of videos I might move back into Art Rage, but I've really uh, enjoyed my time with this one. This video is in actual fact uh, a video in two halves really. The first one or the first half is a split screen uh, thing that I did using the recording features in OS X 11 where I put the um, photo album on the left hand side and uh, kept Procreate on the other side so I used that as a reference to work from and I recorded that so you can see the menu options I'm using and it uh, zooms in automatically as I would be zooming in when I'm drawing. Unfortunately I didn't get the old video recorded that way and I think it's because when I work I try to create really big files 36 inches by 24 inches at 300 dpi and I do that because I like to produce posters of my work you know big posters so they are really big files and I think that did give um, the iPad problems and I found that it was crashing on a couple of occasions which meant I didn't capture the video. Luckily enough I was able to export the old video in Procreate using the sort of built-in capture feature of Procreate and then I edited that and spliced the two uh, types together so you do get the old video recorded it's just that one off is done as a screen capture uh, capturing all of the menus and everything and the other is an export in Procreate. Um, this painting is of a street scene in a town called Norwich in the UK and as you can see it's fairly average looking photo not a lot of colour in it or anything uh, but I didn't want to sort of stick religiously to the photos I very rarely ever do do that and I wanted, because we're coming into autumn and it's getting a bit cold and the leaves are changing, I wanted to create uh, an autumnal painting and I wanted leaves blowing around in the scene which aren't in the photo. So I've added a lot of autumnal colours, oranges, yellows and reds and purples and um, as I said some leaves and so on uh, to make it a much more interesting painting. The only thing looking at the finished painting is I do wonder why there's a guy out there in a t-shirt in a cold windy autumnal morning. So maybe I should have put him a full shirt on. painting I took advantage of the procreate uh, feature where you can create folders to put your brushes in and organize them so I created a folder and I just called it Steve's brushes because that's about as creative as I can get when it comes to creating folders and I moved well actually what I did I copied all the brushes I wanted and moved them into this folder so I kept the originals untouched but I, I made a set of copies and then what I did, I bumped up the uh, brush size to uh, every single brush that I moved in that. Because I'm working on such a big canvas, 36 inch by 24, I find the brush sizes are tiny and I need to um, bump them up a lot. So if you look in um, the general menu, there is an option called size limit and I bump that up to about 540%. So I've got some decent size brushes and as I say I do that on every single brush and the brushes that I moved into that folder were the water brush, the wash brush, the wet glaze brush, wet sponge, water bleed 
and watercolour brush. I thought I would need all of those but in actual fact I painted most of the painting with the wet glaze brush, I, I probably used that for 90% of the painting, and the water brush. And I think in, once I used the watercolour brush and the wet sponge a little bit, but that was about it. They were the only brushes I really used. And you'll also see in that folder, those of you that um, sharp eyed, you'll notice that I've got an oil brush in there and a grunge brush. But they're from a previous painting I did. So I'm kind of building up a folder of all the all my favourite brushes. I'm not really into importing brushes or third party brushes. I have used them on odd occasions. But um, I'm, I really like the challenge of trying to make something with the default brushes that are uh, available within whatever application I'm using. Whether it be Procreate or art rage or whatever. I also found I was continually changing the blend mode of the wet glaze brush uh, from multiply which is under the darken menu of the general blend mode tab and uh, add which is under the lighten option. So between those I could either sort of paint lighter over the dark colors or continually build up the color. I really like that effect um, with the multiply when I was using um, a kind of a, a fairly light coloured green blue and as I kept overlaying it and overlaying it with a brush with multiply I could get it really really dark and then I would use the um, smudge brush which I forgot to mention earlier I am using that and I've got that set to the wet glaze brush and I'm using that to push the colours out and uh, push them around the canvas uh, so the way I work, I, I put on a sort of a block of colour, whether it be just a line of it, and then smudge off one edge, or you actually push the colour out like it's a, a pool of colour on the paper, and I'm pushing it around with the brush spreading it over the paper, very much like watercolour, really. Here's an example of how I would use the smudge brush to push the paint around and uh, mix colours together on the canvas. Watching this video back now, I can see the similarity 
with watercolour and digital painting because I'm, I'm brushing, I'm sorry, I'm smudging those colours out uh, using the smudge brush. If I was doing a watercolour, traditional watercolour, I'd have a, a pot of clean water and a clean brush and I'd just be wetting the edge of the colour that I'd laid down and I'd be pushing it out across the paper. It's exactly the same, absolutely exactly the same. This is the one time where I use the watercolour brush. We're just coming up to where the video changes from the screen capture of ISO 11 to the Procreate uh, capture mode.
So here I am finally going in and putting the detail into the painting. get a bit carried away with the leaves go a bit over the top uh, got a bit excited with it really so then I had to take a few of them out there was just a few too many and also I noticed right at the end of the painting that the buildings on the left hand side weren't actually vertical the photo the original photo that I used for the source of the painting you'll notice the um, the camera distorts the angle of the building so I level those up as well I didn't want them sort of sloping all over the place and that is it so thanks for watching everyone I hope you've enjoyed this video if you did please give me the thumbs up it means a lot and if you're new to the channel please subscribe because uh, I've got lots more videos coming for you and I'd love to be sharing with you see you in the next one bye